Hey guys, so, well as you can see I just got done uh, mowing down leaves and so I thought I guess give y'all just a little update on the Echo pb 400 e As you can see there, the carburetor is off of it. I wanted to take the carburetor off just to see. I wanted to see at least on why this thing was not running right, especially when trying to give it throttle. It wouldn't want to run at full throttle. It would run okay when it was idled. So, I believe I found the problem. The pump diaphragm. You can see those two tongues. You can tell they are not flat. They should be flat. So I think that's the reason on why it was not running right. And so, yep, that's the issue. And even though I did have a, a request from Tom Ream, wanted me to try out the, the leaf vac kit on this blower, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. It'll probably, we'll have to wait till next year. So I'm real sorry about that. So I checked all the other diaphragms. The metering diaphragm is okay. This other diaphragm here, its tongue, it's not flat. It's not even flat either, which it goes right here on the carburetor. So I think I'm going to just uh, order a uh, just a, a partial uh, repair kit that'll just have the gaskets and diaphragms in it. Since I did do a, a complete rebuild on this carburetor last year, now these weren't actually, these were not genuine Walbro parts, these were just uh, aftermarket parts, so I probably should have bought it a, a genuine Walbro kit. So I think that's what I will do uh, this time, except just, just get the, the diaphragm and gasket kit, not the whole thing, because I checked everything else. Everything else was all good, even the the metering lever and the needle, they're still good. So this carburetor, the model of it is a WA55, so I bet that this carburetor calls for a, a D10 watt for just the gasket and diaphragm kit and I think for the repair kit you would need a, a K10 watt. So I'll just order just the, the D10 watt which I think that's I think that kit will work on this carburetor so I'll uh, check to make sure I'll go on the Walbro website and I'll go on motorsview.com and order my kit. They're usually are pretty cheap. They usually cost between three to five dollars. So that's what I'll do. I'll see if that will make a, a difference and I won't be uh, starting this up again until next spring either February or March. And I just winterized the PB251 and the SRM. 2400 SB just after doing the blower comparison video and this extension cord is obviously no good so I'll uh, whenever next time I go to either Lowe's or Home Depot I'll buy a new outdoor extension cord and so yeah so I thought I'd just give you all this little update on the uh, PB 400E so apparently this is the second time I've had to do some work on its carburetor. Even though the whole entire carburetor, it's still nice and clean. So I just got it all apart, just letting it dry. And yeah. 
So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching.